for this tutorial you will need your selected yarn and corresponding crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. I'll leave a link in the description box below of everything that I'm using here. But before I get started, if you like my tutorials don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos and don't forget to click that bell button so you're notified of when my new videos go live. So you want to begin by creating your slip knot and you can do this in whichever way you prefer. Go ahead and insert your um, hook and we're going to start off with our foundation chain. So your foundation chain is going to be in multiples of four plus three. So go ahead and yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through and then yarn over, pull through. So that's four stitches. You would repeat that over and over until you get to the width of project that you want. And then you're going to go ahead and add three on top of that. So pause the video, work your foundation chain and meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so I've just done my foundation chain. I've chained 20 for this sample piece and you're going to add three more. One, two and three. Two of those is to account for the pattern and the first one is acting as a foundation chain or a turning chain. So what we're going to do is work our row one and we're going to do two treble crochets into the fourth chain from the hook. So this is one, two, three and four. So remember I'm working in UK terms, in the US this is known as a double crochet. So go ahead and put the yarn over the hook insert the hook into that fourth chain, grab the yarn and pull it through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, you'll have two loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through those two loops. So that is our first one, we're then going to do a second one. And then what we're going to do from here is chain two, one and two and we're going to do two treble crochets into the next chain. So this next one along, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's one and two. We're now going to skip the next two chains, so one and two, and then start that pattern again. So we're going to go straight into a treble crochet skipping those two chains and we're going to do one and two trebles into that chain. Chain two, one, two, and then two treble crochets into the next chain. One and two. So you're going to repeat that all the way along skip two chains and do two trebles into that next chain, one, and two, chain two, and then two trebles into that next chain. one and two. So work your way along the chain until you have your last two chains remaining and meet me back once you are ready. So I've just worked my way along that chain and I'm left with my last two chains just here. And what I'm going to do is do a treble crochet into that very last chain. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now what I'm going to do is chain three, one, two, three, and we are now onto our second row. And we are simply going to repeat that pattern that we have been doing, and we're going to do that into the chain two space just here. So we're going to go straight into that chain two space with a treble, and another treble, a chain two, and two trebles into that very same chain space. So just 
the same as before, but because we were working into the chain before, kind of making the basis of this stitch, it's now a lot easier from these rows onwards. So we then have two um, clusters of two trebles and then this chain two space again. So we're going to go straight into that with a treble crochet, treble crochet, chain two, and then two trebles again into that chain space. So pause the video, work your way all the way along that row until you get to your last chain two space and I'll show you how to finish off this row and move on to the next. So I've now come to the end of this row and what we want to do is find that turning chain from the previous row, so it's where we did the chain three. Um, and or alternatively you could look for this treble just here and then just next to that treble, that is where we're going to work into. And we're going to do our treble crochet into that stitch to anchor this row down. And then what we want to do from here is chain three, turn our work and we're going to repeat row two again. So we're just going to go straight into this chain two with two treble crochets, chain two and two treble crochets. So I'm going to pause the video, work a few more rows so that you can see what the stitch starts to build like. Okay, so I have built a few more rows onto this and you can see that it's looking really, really pretty. But what I wanted to do before I finish this tutorial is just show you how you can um, finish off the top to make it straight. So if you wanted to add a border around, it just makes it much easier. And it's actually really simple to do. So what you want to do is chain three, and turn your work as you have been doing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into this chain two space. And then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch, and chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch into that chain two space. Now, if you find that you actually chain quite tightly, you could add another chain um, in there just to make sure that it sits nice and flat. But basically that's what you're going to do all the way across is chain three, slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch, and then chain three, and then slip stitch into the top of that chain three from the previous row. Chain one, and then you can go ahead and cut off your yarn. So there we have the sprig stitch. What you could do from here is add a, a row of double crochet all the way around and build your border onto that if you want to. But yeah, I think it's a really, really pretty stitch. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos and click that bell button in order to be notified of my new videos. But thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.